Okay, hi everybody. Let's have a question. Um, so let's uh, obviously read the question first. Here is what it says. Uh, 500 grams uh, or half a kilogram of a steam, right? At 200 kilopascal and 150 C. So immediately right off the bat, I'm going to write myself the state. State 1 will be at P is equal to 200 kilopascals and T is equal to 150 degrees C. So that is my state number 1 goes through isobaric compression, okay? Isobaric means this P is uh, constant. So if so, then if I look at the state two, then my P will also be 200 kilopascal, as the isobaric name indicates. It's a frictionless sealed piston cylinder device. If the final state is saturated vapor, so what it's saying is state two is uh, P is equal to 200 uh, uh, kilopascal, so it means it is the saturated pressure and my x is equal to 1, which means that this is uh, saturated vapor, right? I have 0% saturated liquid, I have 100% saturated vapor. So if I represent this like that, so this is going to be T, it's going to be, let's say, V, and if I have something like that, right? Uh, and constant pressure lines are like this, do you remember? So this is the point that I'm at, that's what it means, I'm at the saturated vapor, okay? All right, and obviously this is 200 kilopascals. Um, okay, so I, I made enough point about that. Um, find the heat transfer. So actually I did visit this question before. I was looking at the boundary work. So now I'll do the whole, uh, uh, whole thing to illustrate, okay? So whenever a heat transfer is asked, so they basically means that so far we only covered the first law, right? It's an energy balance. So let's go ahead and write that. Q net minus W net will be equal to delta E of the system that we have. So the Q net is indeed the question mark that I have here, okay? So what about the uh, rock net? So that is actually coming from the previous module. We will have W out minus W in plus boundary work. This is my W net, okay? And delta E of the system. So I want to uh, make a point over here. I have a cylinder, uh, piston cylinder device, right? And this is sealed. And what is happening is if I have myself a control volume, in this case it's called control mass because it is sealed, right? So this is not going anywhere. It is stationary. It is changing shape though, right? If I'm compressing this from state one to state two, right? What will happen is this will go down. So the control mass will be squeezed but at the end of the day, it's not going anywhere, okay? Those are two separate con concepts, so let's not com confuse those two, okay? If this was a moving control mass or control volume, you cannot assume it's stationary. As this, this just the shape is changing, I should be able to go ahead and use a stationary. So let's write it in here, it's stationary. So that means it's gonna be U2 minus U1. That will be what it is. If I wanna write this in terms of the specific internal energy because these are given in the uh, charts uh, or rather the tables. So let's take a look at the, 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 the terms before we go proceed. So this is what I'm after. There's a minus sign W out. Okay, the question is when I'm looking over here, is there, I have something like a turbine connected to, so I take some kind of work out and no, not really. What about some kind of a propeller that is coming into it as an example? and uh, just, you know, inputting some type of work into the system, like it's rotating, as an example. No, I don't have that either, okay? What about WB? I did visit this before, and I will put a link right over here, okay? But this WB was integral of P dV, do you remember that? For constant isobaric process, we said that this is going to be P times V2 minus V1. And also I said that this is going to be P times N times specific volume, 2 minus specific volume, number 1, okay? And the good thing is, let's take a look at this here. So I'm going to just take it and plug it into here. And the only thing I don't know about here is this 2, but as long as I have my states, and you can see over here, my states are defined, so I should be good to go. How about this? Same logic. Wherever I'm looking at this, you know, I'll simply go ahead and note down my specific internal energy as well. Okay, again, as I said, I will link a video here. and. I'm not going to go in depth, but you can watch that particular video. But the state one turned out to be a superheated vapor, if you remember. 
And for that, I go to A6 of uh, Chang'el, 9th edition, right? And I note down my specific volume one is 0 0.95986 meter cube per kilogram. And I get myself U1 while I'm at it. Why don't I note that down, right? 2577.1 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay, let's take a note over here. You see the unit? Kilojoules, not joules. Joule is too small. So this is actually 2.5 megajoules, right? So it's pretty big, right? So I have to be consistent and uh, be careful about these things, okay? What about the second, so let's go call this state one. Let's look at the state two now. State two is actually a, a mixture, right? Uh, so I have actually x is equal to one. So I simply need to go and look at this VG at 200 uh, kilopascals, right? Um, and if I do it, I will see myself as this is gonna be the second one. That would be 0 0.88. 578 meter cube per kilogram so that is so far so good and I also have the same thing UG will be equal to U2 from the same logic and I'll get this 2529.1 kilojoule per kilogram so I'm actually in a pretty good shape uh, if I'm not mistaken because uh, I don't know this right that's what I'm asking but the rest seems to be you know pretty well uh, formulated so why don't I go ahead and uh, write this uh, one more time just to save or rather just to show you because I'm going to make a point. I see this sometimes. You see, do not forget the negative. Okay, sometimes students put a negative only in front of these parentheses and add a plus. That's not quite correct, right? This is a bracket, big bracket. Be careful. So QNET in this particular question, QNET minus WB is equal to M times U2 minus U1, right? Okay, and this WB turns out to be PM V2 minus V1, right? So I'm going to use that information, Q net minus P is 200. Okay, you have a choice here. You can use everything with respect to Joule, which is the SI, and then you need to turn, when you go to here, you need to convert this to uh, Joules, not, you cannot write kilojoules. Or I'll take that second pad for this particular question, because I showed the other one uh, quite some time. So I can actually use this pressure to be kilopascal, as this is kilojoules, where is it? Kilojoules, I will be able to be consistent in my uh, units as well. That is up to you, do what you gotta do, okay? So this is in terms of kilopascals, I have the mass is 0 0.5 kilogram, and I have this uh, V2 minus V1, 0 0.88578 minus 0 0.95986, and if you remember, this was meter cube per kilogram, okay? Again, one, I did this in the previous segment too, but you can see this is kilo newton per meter square. So the meter, meter cube and meter square will cancel. I'll have a meter in here, kilograms cancel. So I get a newton meters, which is joules. So again, I have a kilo over here, so I'm gonna get kilojoules. So I'm, 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 I'm you know, doing something right over here, okay? So let's look at the right-hand side of the equation. And that will be M, which is 0 0.5 kilogram. So I have to write this in terms of the kilojoules, which I will. 291 minus 25, I think it was 77.1. Seven, 7 I'll check and come back. Yep, that's correct. Um, and this is also kilojoule per kilogram. So good. So I have this in terms of the kilojoule. I have this in terms of the kilojoule because kilograms cancel, right? So you can see what I get over here. I want to make a point over here. I discussed that before. As this is a compression, this WB term will be negative, okay? But let the mathematics work out. Do not put, you know, do not try to change this because it's negative. There's a negative in here, there's another negative within this mathematics, so it's gonna turn out to be a positive sign. And when I move it to the other side, it means it's a negative term, right? For the right-hand side of the equation. Same logic over here, you see what's happening. Indeed, the internal energy is reducing, okay? Because the temperature is reducing, right? Is the internal energy is reducing, what is happening is I have a negative turn over here, but that's fine. You just let the mathematics do its magic, okay? When I do this, I will get myself minus 31.4 kilojoules as the Q net, okay? Obviously, I didn't give you enough information to obtain individually what is Q out and Q in. Let's assume that, you know, the heat loss to the environment is zero as an example. Then my Q in turns out to be 31.4 in that particular case, right? So what it means is I'm, I have to put the heat into the system. That kind of makes sense. Remember, there's two types of energy transfer for closed systems. 
it's the work or the heat transfer. And at the end of the day, this is being compressed. Something is compressing this, right? Uh, either work or heat. And in this case, it is the heat, right? Okay, thank you for watching this. This is all I have. Have a good day. Bye-bye.